This is typical Thailand garden security. Guard dogs, monitor lizards, T-Rex. Back in my day, when I was in the war, Hello, welcome Swidey Cub. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you another Bangkok street tour. Something original, thank God. We're gonna be jumping on this guy all the way down to Samut Prakon to go and check out, I don't know, there's a bunch of things down there. Anyway, let's stop rambling, let's jump on the next train and get on down there. Okay, so it's about 25 minutes later. I actually started at a soak, and I'm now down here at the Royal Thai Naval Academy BTS station. So 25 minutes southeast. There's a museum here, loads of stuff. I checked out the reviews. It said weird, interesting, quirky, something different. So let's go and check it out. All right, so this is the Royal Thai Navy Museum, and well, it's right next to the BTS as well. They've got some pretty cool stuff in their yard, but let's go and see what they've got inside. Uh, let's go, let's go exploring. So it was actually free to get in, which was really cool. The guys on the desk were super helpful. They even offered me a tour guide to sort of show me around not only the museum, but other places around here in Samut Prakon. Uh, obviously, I'm just gonna go exploring by myself because, well, you never know what you're gonna run into. Right, look, look at this bad boy. If I had a surger with me, he'd tell me exactly what that gun is. I saw one of the reviews online on Google before I come here saying that this place was really small, but well, look at it. It's not, it's absolutely huge. Maybe they missed out on one of the buildings and they weren't shown around. Maybe I've been lucky enough today because the tour guide is kind of walking me through each building as I come through and sort of recommending me to look at certain things. Yes, I think that's gonna do it for the Naval Museum. It was pretty interesting to look at. I like cool stuff like this, to be fair. I'm, I'm a bit of a geek, so I don't know. I'd just like to have a look at it, take it all in. And uh, the guy that showed me around was super helpful. I'd highly suggest coming here with somebody that speaks Thai if you can, because uh, there's no signs in Thai. Obviously, it's a Thai museum. Uh, you can't expect it all of the time. But yeah, if you could bring someone that will teach you a little bit more about the culture, the history, it's just really interesting to find out. Anyway, let's jump back on the BTS and head down to somewhere with, well, somewhere with a better view. I forgot to mention, he gave us this uh, Naval Museum sort of guide, which is all in English, and sort of shows all the stuff that's on the, the tour as well, which is pretty cool. And also gave me like this secondary guide about uh, Samut Prakon, which will open up in a minute. It's absolutely huge. It just shows you all of the places that you can visit around here. So I'm just 30 seconds away from the previous station. It was only one stop, and this is Pak Nam BTS station. Just one stop down, and we're gonna go and check out this guy, the observatory. I saw it in Serge's video the other day. It looked really interesting. If you've not checked out Serge's video on it already, please do so. It's gonna be way more involved than what you'll find in this video. But it kind of inspired this video, because, well, this is worth coming to check out, but what else can you fit into an afternoon? Because although it's only 25 to 30 minutes down here, you kind of just want to do a bunch of stuff. You've got the Chao Phraya River just here. So once we've checked out the observatory, we're gonna jump on a boat, we're gonna make our way across, and there's a bunch of other stuff to do over there. So let's get on with it. So I've just walked in, you can see the, the observatory there. There's a train there, and there's some hidden dinosaurs behind there. Let's take a look around the ground before we make our way up the observatory for the, uh, well, epic view, I presume. This is typical Thailand garden security. Guard dogs, monitor lizards, T-Rex. I 
don't know if the, uh, the video is picking this up, but you've got like, all these chains hanging down here, making like a really cool pattern. Looks uh, really impressive. But anyway, this place is called uh, the Samuprakon Learning Park and Tower. And obviously, you'll, you'll sort of realise a bit more as we make our way up and uh, see what the place is all about. Obviously, there's going to be an epic view from up the top. So let's make our way up there and check it out. I'm gutted. Open Tuesday to Sunday, closed on Mondays. It's Monday today, Rob. I'm gutted, I'm genuinely gutted. I wanted to see the view from up there. Do you know what, I'm gonna send the drone up, get some shots of the, the tower itself and what the view would be like from up there. I'm gonna have to save it for another day. Definitely wanna come back and check out that view. Bunch of stuff on the other side of the river. So uh, yeah, let's go and enjoy that. I'm not gonna let it dishearten my day, let's go. It's like a, like a fun fair of some sort here. I don't know whether this is always here. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever, ever come down here. We've got all the, the teddies and the toys and prizes. Looks pretty cool. So in amongst all this craziness, I think I have to make my way down here and out the other side is where the pier is for the boats. Uh, let's find out. I've got loads of like fruit and veg and stuff down here, which is really cool. If you haven't seen um, sort of the fruit and that in Thailand, hello, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> he's got his corn. Look, he's, uh, yeah, he's got, he's got some amazing fruit here to check out. Uh, yeah, let's try and find this boat. I can just see a boat down here now. All right, cool. Well, that cost me six Thai baht. Um, I didn't even ask where it goes to. I don't really care, to be honest with you. But it's going that way. It's going somewhere. It's going somewhere that's not here, so it's going to be adventure. Six bar, why not? That was pretty cool, six Thai baht, can't really complain. We went underneath uh, a bridge, but I think we need to cut across to, to get to the little island that's here. So uh, we'll make our way around and see what else we can find. So it's pretty noisy around here at the moment. So um, let's carry on and try and find the bridge. We've got some sort of festival going on. There's something going on. I don't think this is here all the time. The kids are friendly. But um, yeah, let's try and find the bridge and we'll go over to the port now. I don't know what they're doing behind my back. They sent me the wrong way earlier. Maybe say, uh, maybe say, so just maybe my <laughs> yeah. uh, million takes today. It's too hot for this. <sighs> right, so just made my way inside here. I think this is uh, the fort. You've got uh, here we go. Got some sort of places to look around and check out. Just explore around. Mind your head. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Hey, yeah, so I found some English. Disappearing gun. I think you can read between the lines with this one. This is not for the faint-hearted. And obviously it must raise and lower itself so it can peek over the, over the wall there and take out its enemy. I don't know what these things are up at ground level. Sort of little, little periscope holes to sort of look out and see the enemy probably. If you know what they are, let me know. Oh, look, the same with these. They've got loads of them all over the place. There must be little, little periscopes. 
Well, I think this place breaks the, uh, the day up really nicely. It's nice to get out of the hustle and bustle of, of Bangkok and still be in Bangkok. It wasn't always peaceful here and uh, yeah, it's just nice to see how things were back in the day. Starting to sound like an old man, aren't I? Back in my day, when I was in the war, I don't know how, but I've got a tour guide. He can't speak a word of English, but uh, he seems pretty happy enough. <laughs> We're gonna uh, make our way into the, the forest here. Yeah? I wish I had a clue what he was saying. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments who speaks Thai. Well, this is probably what he was trying to warn me about in Thai. That's the uh, second failure of today. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of looking forward to the nature walk. God, I hope I don't fall off of this nature walk. Well, that's the shame about the nature walk. That's the second time something's closed today. It just goes to show you that, you know, things don't always go as to plan here. We're gonna jump back on the other side, go over the bridge and check out the temple that's over there as well, because I've never been there and it looks pretty, pretty busy and exciting at the moment. So let's go and take a look. Stop by these guys and not say hello. Hello. Oink, oink, oink. Well, of course, why wouldn't it be any different? Turns out I can't go in there either. It's uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're prepping for something. I know at the moment it is a Thai holiday, so they've got all sorts of events going on all over Bangkok and Thailand. Uh, but yeah, I can't go in there either. All right, all right, I'm gonna escape the chaos that is the, uh, the fun fair, the market, whatever else is going on over this side. As you can see from today's video, not everything goes as it plans. This is the only way to find new content for you guys, the new unique, the original, whatever content you wanna call it. I hope you appreciate today's day in the life of Robert exploring. I'm gonna stop recording before I get run over. It's still absolute madness here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.